Hello everyone. In this video I gonna teach you on how to create your sheet and the sheet template. This is the Photoshop default interface and I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC. Two options are available on the left side of your screen. Create new and open option. Clicking on open option, we can open any file into Photoshop. We can open pictures, Photoshop files, PNG files, JPG files, and PDF files too. Now I'm closing this as we are going to create a new file. Clicking on create new, a new document dialog box opens. There will be different categories and these categories have preset image sizes. When we click on it, it directly opens. But we want to create a two size sheet which is not available as preset. So we are creating a new sheet size preset. We must input dimensions of the A2 size sheet. I'm comfortable with millimeters unit. So I'm going on with millimeters. You can select whatever you want. I'm doing landscape sheet. Keep 300 pixels per inch for good quality. As I want to print it on later, I'm selecting CMYK mode. The problem with RGB mode is sometimes the output color of the print might differ from the original color. 8-bit quality is enough. Yes. Now this is my workspace which is my A2 size sheet. We can check the image size by clicking on Image menu and select Image size. We can also change the size and resolution of the image. The ruler is displayed on the top and left. If not visible, enable it from the window menu. I have the rulers in pixel unit. But am comfortable with mm unit. To change the units, go to the Menu Edit Preferences Units and rulers there you can change the ruler unit into mm. We can see the ruler has changed its unit into mm. And I'm changing the type into mm. So that, the text will also be in mm and I can imagine or predict on what size the text will be on printout sheet. To place a guide for margin, take the move tool, and click, and drag the ruler. The guide comes from the ruler and we can place it wherever it is necessary. To place guides at uniform distance, click on view, new guide layout, and enter the required margin distance from the page border. I'm entering 10 mm border distance. We can see that the guide placed at the distance we mentioned. Now let's draw a margin line. Click on, line tool. Fill with the required line color. Select no fill for line stroke. And set the line weight of the margin line. Let me show you how line weight works. Now, when you draw a line near the guide, it sticks to the guide like a magnet. So that we get perfect lines. There will be some flaws and length variations in the line. We can adjust them using the Transform tool. Once you transform anything on Photoshop, like an image or shape or anything, press Enter to apply it. Now we can remove the guides and look at the sheet. Just drag away the guide. It will disappear. Now let's group these lines to avoid later confusions. It is a responsibility of a good designer to name the layers and folders. This avoids confusions as we are going to add more and more layers into the sheet. The eye is the visibility icon. Now if you want to convert this entire folder into a single layer, press Ctrl plus E to merge them. Now we can move this layer anywhere as desired. If you merge them, we cannot edit the individual lines for later. So let me keep it as folder itself. Now, let's create a color filled thick border. Again, create a new guide layout as required. Using the marquee tool, select the required area to be colored. After selecting, create a new layer. Select the solid color option. Solid color option is used to fill the selected area with solid color. Select the required color. Let's group them. I'm creating a dual color border. So, creating another guide layout and filling them with the second color. The advantage of using the solid color option is, we can change the color anytime if required. We can use any option. Either a color filled border or the margin line. Select the area for the title box and create a new layer. 
solid color the title box. We can reposition to front or back by just placing the layers one above the other. Now, let's enter the title text. Select the required font size, color, and the style. We can resize them using transform tool and place it wherever required. We can place it on a defined area of the sheet by clicking on the three dots. Align to canvas and select whichever required. We can group the entire page template as one single folder. Let's add a page number at the corner. Take the lasso tool and select the corner as required. Solid color it and enter the page number. We can resize or reposition it as required. Now, group them together. We can temporarily link the layer by selecting them and enabling the link option. So that, if we move one layer, the other layer associated with it also moves along with it. To avoid accidental editing or repositioning the border or margin, we can lock the folder. So that, it becomes uneditable. We can unlock it later if we need to edit. Don't forget to save the file. Follow up my next video in this playlist for next steps. Share this video to your friends and help them too. Subscribe for more architecture related tutorials.